It's not a matter of if a couple will encounter problems, it's a matter of when. When we look at many of the problems that we're experiencing in our society, it points directly back to the family unit. A mom and a dad bring together in a home what children need to thrive. The old saying is you don't know what you have till it's gone or till you about to lose it is, is so true. We just wasn't communicating, you know, and a lot of part had to do with I wasn't home. I wasn't giving her any affection. And of course, my response was, well, I'm going to work. I'm a provider. So me making sure the lights on is great, but she wouldn't mind if we was in the dark as long as we're together. I had an affair for like a year. I know I was destined to be with Chris, but at the time, um, I didn't feel like I wanted to. Chris was always praying for me, always talking about scripture. He wouldn't stop pursuing me regardless of what I was doing. And I had to wake up and say, this is not how I want to live. I looked at my upbringing from a single mom household. And I, and I just saw that what we was going through had much of a greater impact than just my wife and I. I saw the, the greater, bigger picture that it affects generations down the line. So we went to counseling and, and of course she signed us up for the marriage class. They taught us how to communicate better and how to express myself and how to explain how I was feeling. Having these classes was just like a continued education. It gave me the opportunity to say how my day was and listen to your day. Today, things are great. We're coaching other couples. I feel like being a coach has kept the tools in the house. God chose my marriage. I think that's what kept me so steadfast because I, I just believe that we was going through this for a, a greater purpose. To understand that live the life came into their marriage and what the enemy meant for evil and destruction, God is gonna get some glory. Okay. Our primary function is to strengthen marriages and families. It has changed my family legacy, so thank you.